I had to delete the original video I posted about the Pocket 4K false color because people were kind of getting the whole point of it wrong. So when making YouTube videos, you can't assume that everybody is a professional. Everybody knows everything. So with that out of the way, I know that a LUT is just for viewing only, right? And back a couple of years ago, I made that mistake of thinking that the viewable LUT in a monitor will reflect the histogram and the false color. And that is what I am warning people about here. So here is the video showing you why you cannot trust the false color and histogram when shooting film in the Pocket 4K because the values are of the film curve and not of the LUT. So you just got your Blackmagic Pocket 4K and you're very excited to use the false color feature. But you're starting to wonder why is the false color feature not working properly? Even though I have the LUT turned on, it's still not showing the right exposure and contrast. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So I'm gonna turn my LUT on, boom. I have that LUT turned on. I'm gonna turn on my false color, which I saved on the function here, the function three button. You're gonna see, yeah, I'm using the false color. It looks great. I have my LUT turned on. All right, let's go ahead and set the exposure, right? And then I turn it off. What's going on? Why is that not that that should change, right? Because I'm going from a raw film to a Rec 709. The false color should change. Well, that's the thing. The Pocket 4K, if you're shooting raw, lossless, or 3.1, any flavors of raw, with even with the LUT turned on, the false color feature will only read the film log curve or the film curve, whatever you want to call it. It's not going to read the LUT that you are applying. So you can see that? So you have to be very careful when exposing with the false color and a LUT turned on when shooting raw film.